J Mac Attack is back in Crouching Ego, Hidden Player. After playing so well at Forest City T to Green, but losing 10 strokes with the short game, we worked on the following. 1. On course, no consequence golf. 2. Short putting. J Mac did the ruler drill every morning and night and performed the circle drill a lot, so he felt like a bouse on the putts inside three feet. Three, we neglected the driving range with the fat shot prevention drill because we prioritized the short game. Four, in this round, we're mixing super stress-free golf with the triple six sub 80 system. Remember, with super stress-free golf, we hit the green in one more than the tour standard regulation we add one stroke to the par of each hole. In this modified super stress-free triple six Mac attack system, we're going to attack some holes to score some easy greens in reg, but be happy with whatever score we get. Okay, so, but now think about your pitch shot you're gonna have left. How far do you want in? To be honest, any, anywhere from about 70 upwards. From 70 upwards. J Mac is shook already. It came out to the right of the tee, and now he's closed his stance off. I try to stop him, but he can't help himself. Pressure does these things. Right, that right half of the green there, not going at the pin. If I hit it there, it starts to draw a bit. If I hit it there and go straight. Okay, so the secret to playing smarter golf, if you're an insistent pin seeker, is to consciously make a conservative target the last thing you look at before the shot. If the pin is not your target, look at the actual target, which in this case was to the right side of the green. Accept it fully and commit 100%. J Mac revealed later the pin was, in fact, the last thing he looked at before the shot. On every course, there are normally two shorter par fives, three reachable par threes, three or four short par fours. Pre round, we identified holes two, five to eight, and 14 to 17 as the Mac attack holes. If we can hit six of those in regulation or close enough to putt to the hole, then we're winning big time. Have you ever heard me say that if Ashuri gets you closer to the hole, be happy with it? Watch this gangster. It only takes one good shot to save a hole, and the next shot could be the best shot you've ever hit. Par fives can be really forgiving if you do them right, boyfriends. Fully accept that you're allowed to hit them in four shots. This will release all those green and regulation demons that the PGA Tour has put into you. I think you want to take a club long enough to carry these two bunkers, because yeah. you've got tons of space off those bunkers. Sure. You've got lots of space on the right. So if you aim it at the green side bunker, yeah. with something you're very comfortable with, okay? Because six will clear them. Yeah. Six will clear them, but be very comfortable, be happy. You happy? Yeah. Okay. okay. So set this one up at the pin. Cool. And then it should be perfect. The, the slope is going to pull it a bit to the right, but with your shape, it will straighten it up.
Center cut, what a Center shot, man. As you want it. What a shot. Seven, I'm gonna overhead. Okay, so 135 meters, you're saying eight feels like the chisel. Yeah. Okay, great. It's good. How do you hit the eight? What kind of shape? What do you expect? Uh, straightish with a little bit of a draw. Okay, you're going at the pin then. On this approach, on the left is Middle Earth and the ground slopes toward the green. Chances are, we have a flat shot to the pin, even missing the green leftish. The bunker looms large in line with the pin, and all danger is on the right of the pin. Best bet is to set it up at the pin, and let it draw to the left, naturally, like a bouse. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh, Shizer, what a putter, man. Do, my friend. What a putter. This, this is the trickiest bunker shot I've ever hit in my life. This par 3 is also J Max Bunny. Regardless of where the pin was going to be, we wanted to hit the center of the green because that's what he's done here before every time. Luckily, the pin is front middle. Oh, the money shot of the day. <laughs> your hybrid it's super solid all the time your most confident club today we want confidence full confidence, confidence. Yeah. so we're going same line okay same line but actually a bit Little further left. left than that so you're going about 10 yards left of that yeah. bamboo tree or whatever it is the seventh is a short par five and with the right line jmac can panty strike a ball right over all the trouble this was the hole that i moved to ban the three word entirely all i needed was another push shot off to never never land 100 yards to carry the bunker in front of the pin yeah. now the pin is probably about 220. now what do you want to have left i could that's two that's yard so you got 200 meters to the thing 200 meters i could hit be perfect like two out of ten Hybrid okay. Get there. How do you feel with the hybrid off the deck? I can hit it off the deck quite nicely, but to be honest, par five to get on and two, let's just go for three. But what are you gonna hit? Got an eight in my hand. I'm gonna go short and leave myself probably another sort of eighty, like eighty yard yard in. J Bone, get that hybrid, bro. Is it? Get the hybrid. Get the hybrid. You got lots of space up there. Lots of space. Pay, aim it, aim it up at those. The, the, the you see those three palms and then a gap. Aim it right down the middle of that gap. Cool. I can't see where the flag is, so I'm just. Gonna the the flags, the flags on the right, on the right lip of the right edge of that bunker in front. Okay. Hit it there. We've got you got the bunker shot now. Yeah. So if you end up in the bunker, it doesn't matter. Just Fine. hit it on that palm tree in the back, the tallest palm tree. Cool. Downside of a hybrid here really is a push or a pull neither of which present any severe danger in the landing areas. A pull or hook is preferable because the land is sloped toward the green there on the left. A push would leave us a pitch over the bunker and there are worse things in life than that. A layup leaves us open to a fat shot, headworms and probably a seven, whereas a hybrid can potentially reach the green for at worst a five. Okay, so J Mac, Mr. Three Wood off the tee, and listen to Mr. to Mr. Matt to take the hybrid. The reason I say hit the hybrid from down there is that you've got all that space down there if you had sliced it. And if you come up left here, you're gonna carry this bunker, which is just point to where the bunker is. Just over here, where his finger is, right in line with his finger, all the way along there is the bunker edge. He's flown that, he's got lots of space up on the left here, and he's actually right over there. 
in two shots. That's exactly what we want. See now, if I gave you, if I gave you a birdie putt, or a putt for four yeah. on the tee box from, from 12 feet, would take you take it? Every day. Every day. Every day. So it makes jam it. Great touch. In the hole, baby. Oh! Careless whispers. Oh, it's in the hole that I planned to put it on. Oh, that was a good putt. <laughs> that was a good putt. I've got two palm trees and then like a lick twist pylon yes, in the back, back exactly electricity pylon in the back go yeah. beautiful beautiful look at that what a mother of a shot in or not perfect hole eight is very receptive to an approach after a good drive the green has a catchment on the left and with j max draw we're set for good things You know why that happened, eh? You took so much eh, more time. Mm. What were you thinking about? Oh, here comes the sun to wash away the tears, bro. Yes, boy, key. Perfect. Little long, little long, sit Just down. Sit perfect, on. perfect, perfect, on in three. Just get on. So, so that previous shot when you topped it is because, why? What did you, what were you thinking? What happened? What happened, I lost the flag like where I was originally looking kind of looked up had to think in my mind where am I heading this to lost all sense of where I was going so what should you do if that happens step off and reset reset otherwise you get Shuri McDury done Danger left, so hit the fairway, then Buya Piri Shumwa Krakatoa. Let's move. So let's get it on in three for a safe five ski and GTFO with a decent nine under our belt. Thank you. 